Today's video is gonna be another thrift store challenge. A highly requested store that you guys asked for was Anthropology. So basically we're gonna to go to Anthropology, get loads of inspiration, and then we are headed over to the thrift store to see what we can get for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I noticed when I walked into Anthropology was the amount of just luxurious throw blankets and throw pillows. And then I came across this one at the thrift store, brand new with tags, reminded me so much of this throw blanket from Anthropology that cost $148. And this thrifted blanket was just five bucks, you guys. Brand new with tags, originally tagged for $99. There was one little issue though, one of these little furry balls was missing. So rather than try to match it or reattach it, I just removed the string that was kind of a dead giveaway that something was missing. This blanket fits so well with my current color scheme in my living room and it's so cozy and perfect for the upcoming season. One thing Anthropology does really well is making really interesting and unique home decor pieces. I loved this speckled vase, but it was $78. And then I was at the thrift store, I came across this speckled vase for just $1.99. And the way they had styled one on display was they put these really just beautiful wispy florals inside and I thought it looked so nice. So I went to Walmart, I grabbed this bunch of florals for under five bucks. And there you have it, a very similar look, but definitely budget friendly. We cannot talk about Anthropology's home decor without addressing the amount of tinted glassware that is available. They do a fantastic job of taking these sort of everyday items, but making them feel just that much more special. So I came across this handkerchief style bowl at the thrift store for just a dollar. And it reminded me so much of these planters sold at Anthropology, but for a fraction of the cost. When it comes to different metals you can purchase through Anthropology, they definitely love a brass moment and that works out really well because I have a lot of luck at my thrift stores finding brass or brass inspired like items. I found this candle holder for just 75 cents. I also found these really beautiful creamy white tapered candles for just $2 and I'm just gonna place one of these tapered candles into this candlestick holder and there you have it. I feel like this whole vignette looks really put together and very anthropology inspired. And that looks great, but I think if you're having people over as it is hosting season, as I like to call it, investing in a cloche is always a good idea. And I actually found this one at the thrift store that had never been used for just a dollar. So I'm just removing all of the packaging. I'm gonna put some yummy little treats in here. And I think it just looks really styled, put together, but also functional as well. Anthropology is really known for having kind of a bit more feminine style, I would say, but then they do incorporate these more masculine pieces in their collections. So I came across this leather magazine holder that was just five bucks. A key difference in the price point is that theirs is genuine leather and mine is vinyl, but I still think if you're on a budget, you can get this look for a whole lot less. I would say Anthropology does wall baskets better than anyone. So if ever you're at a thrift store and you come across a large scale shallow basket, think of maybe how you could place it on your wall to add some texture as opposed to just doing a more traditional art piece. I ended up finding this large scale, beautiful basket for just $3 at my local Goodwill. And I think it looks wonderful in my office. As I mentioned earlier, Anthropology utilizes a lot of brass in their home decor, and I came across this footed planter for $48. And weirdly enough, this is actually something I come across, I would say pretty often at thrift stores, is this style of a planter in a brass finish. Now the brass might be painted on, or it might be genuine brass, but once I came across this one, it fits in so well with that candlestick holder that I showed you earlier. So I decided to snag this for just $3.99, and I filled it with last year's Hobby Lobby fall floral and I, again, think that this pairs really well with the wall basket in my office.
In order to achieve that really anthropology inspired style, you do have to mix it up with your materials. So we have some rattan, we have our brass, and now I think it's a good time to incorporate some marble. And anthropology does marble in a really beautiful and feminine way. Again, it's really interesting. They'll have like a pretty gold leaf finish or a scalloped edge. It's always really beautiful and interesting. And I came across this bathroom set for just $4 at my Goodwill. And I really liked the pattern of this specific black marble. There was a little bit of olive green in there and it just felt a little bit more interesting, but I probably wouldn't use this in the traditional sense. So instead, I'm just going to take some super glue gel and make this a sort of raised tray. Another thing Anthropology is definitely known for is carrying a lot of animal inspired designs. So as you can see this large scale bird print as well as this sleeping fox credenza. And while these designs might not be for everyone, I think you can find a way to kind of incorporate the idea into your space to still make it feel like you. So I came across this bird, and at first I thought it was just a bird, just kind of like a display object, but then I realized it was a container. And on top of my thrifted linen books, this whole vignette cost me under $17, which I think is a much more affordable price point. An idea I want to encourage you guys to use is to kind of make a dream shopping cart. So either go to Anthropology or go to their website and kind of just add things to the cart that you would love to have in your home and then go to the thrift store and then see if you can find things that look somewhat similar. You might have to do a little bit of DIY, but for example, I found this beautiful jug vase for just a few dollars. I took some florals from the outside and I think I have a really similar look, but so much more budget friendly. One thing that sets Anthropology's wood decor apart from let's say Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrow, West Elm is that it's very intricate. For example, it will have a woven handle, a honeycomb exterior, a scalloped edge at the top. There's always a little something extra. It is not just a wooden bowl. So for Anthropology, it really is all in those little details that make a big impact. So this wooden bowl was beautiful, but just a bit simple. Then I came across this footed wooden bowl, very interesting, but there was some damage, so I did pass on it. But then I came across this one, a large scale tray with a scalloped edge, very fitting for anthropology, but a little too orange for my liking. But this one I had to take home. It had some beautiful etching on it. The handles were interesting. It just felt a little bit more interesting than your average wooden bowl. And it was only $2. Anthropology carries a lot of very interesting wall sconces and I came across this wall sconce at the thrift store for $1.99. But then I saw this planter and I was thinking, what if instead of using it in a traditional sense for lighting, what if we made this into a wall planter? Let me know what you guys think. Do we love this? Do we hate this? Just giving you guys the idea and the option to maybe repurpose something and use it in a totally different way. So I want to talk about shells for a second. Shells, I think in a traditional sort of interior design sense are thought of as being coastal, but anthropology does it in a way that makes it just feel really almost like quirky and feminine. I ended up coming across this finial footed shell like bowl at the thrift store for just $3 and it reminded me so much of this set of three shells that they use as wall hangings. And while I won't hang this from a wall, I think placed on a stack of books gives me that look in a different way. I also came across this sort of shell shaped lamp. I've actually seen this lamp a few times at the thrift store, but it's almost always green or pink. And then I saw it in white. And also it was a green tag day, which made this lamp just $3. I picked up the lampshade separately at another thrift store for just $2. So for under $5, I think it is an affordable way to try out this sort of quirky shell inspiration, but on a budget. We can't talk about anthropology without addressing the use of floral print. They use it in their plates, they use it in their pottery, they use it in their textiles. And I think if you have kind of grand millennial style, you'll really appreciate this aspect of anthropology home decor. 
but my favorite way that they use it is actually in their dinnerware. And I think it's just taking something that you might use every day, but making it just feel that much more special, which I think is the anthem of anthropology. So I came across these wine glasses for just 30 cents a piece. In comparison to these cups, which were $12 a piece, you could buy a set of eight of these and they would still be much cheaper than one of the cups from anthropology. Okay, now let's talk about some throw pillows. So while I was at Anthropology, a couple things I want you guys to keep in mind if you have Anthropology inspired style, you wanna get that look for less. While you're out thrifting, you'll wanna look for pattern, especially like a floral pattern, animal pattern, and while Anthropology definitely does carry some neutrals, I would say their style is much more jewel toned. So while you're out thrifting, I would look for those same sorts of things. I came across both of these pillows that kind of gave me a similar effect. And then I found this one that I really loved for my daughter's room. It had a zipper, so I was able to wash it and it was only $3 and it's actually originally from World Market. So I was really happy with this find. Now let's talk about a little bit of artwork. Anthropology carries a wide range of art available on their website in store. These were some of the items that they had displayed. Like I mentioned earlier, they have a lot of influence with animals and portraits, some abstract prints in there. But finding these large scale art pieces at thrift stores is definitely a challenge. So I've come up with a couple ways that I've shown you guys in the past um, to kind of achieve that look on a smaller scale. The first thing you wanna do is find some frames. So I like to find mine at the thrift store. It does not matter what the art is inside because I'm going to be taking it out anyway. And then I'll search on Anthropology's website of pictures that I like that they're using. So as I mentioned earlier, I found this ballet book at the thrift store. I ended up picking out one of the pages I really liked. And I think I'm able to kind of get a really similar look, but definitely much more budget friendly. And you could do a downloadable print from Etsy of a bird image that you think definitely resembles that of Anthropology. But I ended up finding this one at weirdly enough, the Dollar Tree. So I thought this would be a good fit and decided to place that inside as well. Greeting cards, wrapping paper, books, magazines. There's so many different ways that you can find artwork that can resemble something from anthropology on a smaller scale and definitely on a budget. And that about wraps it up for today's video. I've made a few anthropology videos in the past that I will link in the description box below to further help you guys with some projects. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and tell me down in the comments any other stores you guys would be interested in seeing in this series. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.